Hello everyone and welcome to SmartLearn Studios. My name is Ishmael and here at SmartLearn my job is to capture our clients' knowledge and digitally productize it so that it can reach a global audience. As you can imagine, my job involves meeting and working with subject matter experts from all walks of life. And a short while back, we had the pleasure of having the co-founding powers of eAcademy, Thomas and Penny, here in our studios, having their knowledge filmed, digitized, productized, and distributed. Now, for those of you who've had a chance to see the wonderful results of that process, would have probably also noticed how much fun we had making those videos. However, you can also imagine there are some parts that didn't make the final cut. And as it's eAcademy's 10th birthday, we thought we'd share them with you. So on the day, they both arrived as requested a couple of hours before the rest of the audience was supposed to be here. And this allowed us to familiarize them with the environment and also allowed us to give them a crash course on presenting live with no rehearsal in front of a live audience in what is effectively a film studio. Now Tom, being the gentleman that he is, got Penny to go first with her three scenes. And without any hesitation, she jumped at the chance. Her first scene was called Why e Academy? And being a co-founder of the company, you can just imagine how passionate she got in answering that question. In fact, at some point, she got a little too passionate. So as an exercise, what I would say you do over the next week, two weeks, or until you actually get that feeling, and you'll know it, because you'll get that feeling up your spine, and I've just dropped a box, you'll get that, if I start again, you should. <laughs> Aww. The poor thing then got so flustered, her laugh changed to something of a cross between an emu and a hyena. Have a listen. <laughs> now with her flow abruptly broken, her laughs bordering hysterical, and a microphone pack that just refused to clip back onto her belt, Penny had reached a point of frenzy, for which there was only one calming remedy she knew. God, I can't put it back on now. Can you stay with my ass for a minute? <laughs> I think we need to hear that one again. Can, Can you stay with my ass for a minute? <laughs> On a slightly more serious note though, Penny was truly fantastic. She kept to the point, she was totally natural, she kept our attention, and she looked sensational on camera. In fact, if there was so much as one more button open on that blouse of hers, we would have been kicked off YouTube. More importantly, she delivered three scenes flawlessly, with the microphone incident we saw earlier being the only interruption she had. Now you've got to remember, Penny went first, so Thomas had the advantage of sitting back and watching Penny's performance from the other room and learning from her performance. Or so you'd think. From the next clips coming up, it's really hard to imagine that Penny went first. Now, just to give you a little bit of a background, we gave both Penny and Thomas the same guidance and a couple of rules. The most important of these rules was this. When we're about to roll cameras, stand in the position you're gonna stand in, behind the desk, Hold your posture, hold a smile, and wait for the crew member standing next to you to use the clapperboard and strike. The crew member will then take the clapperboard away with them. They'll quietly leave the room and close the door behind them. And then the presenter can speak. Sounds complicated? Well, the simple truth of the matter is the rule goes like this. Wait, wait, and wait. This clip is Penny showing us all that you can learn the steps and deliver them first time round without error. And scene one of Penny. And go, Penny. Thank you. Welcome everyone, wonderful you're all here and welcome to anybody who's watching this at home or on their computers at home or in their office, wonderful that you're here too. Um, my name is Penny Power and I'm the founder of the Academy, I started it 10 years ago in February. Perfect, Penny you're a natural, your husband on the other hand is not. Same rule, this is now Thomas delivering his first scene. Oh, what did I miss? Thank you. Hand <laughs> So I'm going to begin by taking you. Just left the room, not found a seat, not the door. <laughs> so I'm going to. Uh, no, no, I haven't said wrong yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch you to the. Well, it's his first scene, first mistake, it's forgivable. You would have thought that by scene three, though, he would have got the point. <laughs> So 
So the next one we're going to move on to is the... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay. Scene six. He must have got the point by now. People look for a higher quality group of people. They want to share connections. They want to. Sorry, Thomas, you're going to hate me for this. But have you started a new section called Black Stars now? Yes. You haven't finished Marketplace, nor have you wrapped up. Oh, f off. <laughs> <laughs> I got that one. I'm glad. Really happy. <laughs> so can hear Penny. Just, just come off, you know, back to the Google Tom, don't worry. We've arranged for a big, bright, not yet sign for your next visit. To end with, we thought we'd leave you with a montage of antics of the power duo. But before we go, we just wanted to say, Tom, Penny, you did fantastic. But there's not much more we could have expected from a pair of 10 year olds. From all of us here at Smartland Studios, we hope you enjoy the video. Happy birthday, Academy.